Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be telling you some of the Shadowlands mounts that will become easier in around a month when Dragonflight releases on the 28th of November 2022. Please make sure you are subscribed and yeah, let's begin. First up on my list is the Horrid Dreadwing, only obtainable by the Venthyr Covenant when you siphon anima to the Banewood and talk, grab the Ballista, turn in, turn in the quest and activate the um, rear. This will become easier because less people will be doing it and it will be up more often. So yeah, more chances for you to get it. For the second mount, it's the Hope Crusher Gargan, only obtainable by the Venthyr Covenant and is obtained by killing the Hope Crusher Gargan rear in the around Castle Nathria area of Rivendreth. This is it will be easier because less people will be trying it, so it will be up more often for you to obtain it. Next up on the list is Sin Runner Blanche. This is obtainable by all covenants and everyone. And this is by doing the seven day quest line turn in thing to the NPC um, Dead Blanche. And Rivendreth, this will be easier because less people will be doing it. So it probably will be more up often for you to turn in your quests. Next up on my list is Wild Glimmerfur Prowler. This is obtainable by the Night Fae Covenant by siphoning anima to the Turner Scythe area in Arnwield by killing Valthia the Unrelenting. And yeah, in Turner Scythe, this will be easier because you'll be able to solo it and less people will be doing it, which means you'll be able to do it and obtain the mount for yourself. For the next one, we have the Swift Gloomhoft, dropped by Nightmare in Ardenwild near near Hibernal Hollow. By completing the summoning quest chain, this will become easier because you'll be able to solo the rear and you'll be able to do it a lot easier and more often. And yeah, easier for you to get it. For the next one on my list, I have the Spine Maw Glacier. This drops from Gorm Tamer Tizzo and is obtainable in Ardenweald. This will become easier because less people will be attempting, attempt, attempting it and you will be able to attempt it more often. So it will give more chances for you to get it. Next up on the list is the Blister Back Blood Tusk. This drops from Warbringer Molkarak in the House of the Chosen in the bottom left corner of Maldraxxus. This will be easier to obtain because it will be up more often and which means you have more attempts to obtain this mount like I did. For the next mount, it's the Battlebound Warhound. Drops in the Theatre of Pain from any of the um, big monster elites in the middle arena. This will become easier because in Dragonflight it will be much easier to solo it with bad gear or even good gear. For the ninth mount, on this list, it's the Bone Hoof Tauralus. Drops from Tahonta. You must be the Necrolord Covenant, and it drops in Maldraxxus, right next to the Open World Theater of Pain. Um, this will become much easier because it will be up for more often for you to get it. For the tenth mouse mount on this list, it is Gore Spine. It drops from Nerissa Heartless in Maldraxxus in the top right corner at the House of Rituals. This will become much easier because less people will be doing it because they're too focused on Dragonflight content and you'll be able to do it and have more chances to obtain it. Next up on this on this list for the eleventh mount is the Hulking Death Rock. Drops from the Violet Mistake at the House of Plagues in Maldraxxus. This will become much easier because less people will be doing it, and you will be able to do it and solo it in Dragonflight. Hopefully, if you do not die by it, but yeah, you'll be able to get it. Next up on 
Next up on this list is the Predatory Plague Rock, dro drops from Gaija, and you must be a part of the Necrolaw Covenant in Maldraxxus, in the top left corner at the House of Constructs. This will come easier, because if you siphon anima to the House of Constructs, you'll be able to attempt this, and less people will be doing it, and you'll be able to do it and have more attempts at it. Next up on this list is the Ascended Sky Main. Drops from the Catch of the Ascended, drops from the Council of the Ascended in the Zone Bastion. This will become easier because you can solo it and less people will be attempting it so you'll be able to ring all five of the bells in Bastion and solo all five of the mobs and obtain this mount as a chance. For the next mount on my list, it is Sun Dancer, drops in Bastion. You, this will become easier to obtain because less people will be doing it. You'll be able to solo it much easier because you'll have better gear in Dragonflight. Yeah, drops in Bastion. Sun Dancer. For the next mount on my list, it is Marrowfang, drops from Nalthor, the Rhymebinder, in the Necrotic Wake on Mythic difficulty. This will become much easier because you will be able to solo this in Dragonflight if you have good gear. And yeah, much easier. Next up on my list, it is the Cartel Master's Gear Glider, drops from Solia in the Tezavish of the... Tezavish, the Veiled Market on Heroic or Mythic difficulty. This will become much easier because you can solo it in Dragonfly with good gear. Next up is the Endmire Flyer. It drops from Famu the Infinite in Rivendreth in the Endmire. This will become um, easier to obtain because less people will be doing it, the rare will be up more often, and you will be have more attempts at it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you did. This was mounts that will become easier to obtain in Dragonflight. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.